What's up, y'all? I don't know why I did that dance. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I did a YouTube video. Yes, I'm bare, no makeup, bitch. But, um, yeah, so I told myself starting in June for second quarter, I'm gonna actually get more active on my um, YouTube. Um, actually, take y'all with me day to day on my entrepreneur journeys. Um, and you know, talk about life and just what we be going through because girl, I be on YouTube trying to find like vlogs of people talking about some real life stuff, and I'd be like, What a hit, you know? So, anyways, um, here we are. So, um, we're on our way to get some coffee. I woke up today, great moods, great vibes, did my stretches and meditation this morning. Maybe I'll take y'all with me on that tomorrow. Make sure your garage closed in Atlanta because they will roll on on the beach. They roll on on the but yeah. So, um, I was on my way to this coffee shop, and my girlfriend's like, Oh, you should try this other one. It's like black owned, it will because you know I love me a black owned business. So, we're about to go try this new, or I don't know if it's new, I think it's new. This coffee shop out, it's called 404, closed here. And we live kind of like close to downtown, pretty much like considered downtown Atlanta area. So I guess it's like a new, newer coffee shop in the downtown area. But um, yeah, I'm actually really excited and I haven't had coffee in a long time. It's probably been about a month or so, which is really good for me because I usually drink coffee every single day. But I've been on my little weight loss journey and so my little healthy tips. So I haven't, haven't been drinking no coffee. I have been drinking like chai tea that I make in the morning or if I make my girlfriend some green tea and I have extra, I'll drink it. But really I've been trying to just only stick to water but I have been low-key addicted to these ice waters, like sparkling water. Girl, good, okay. <sighs> so yeah, here we are and I'm like, right now I'm like a kid in a candy store because I really want some coffee. I really want some coffee but yeah y'all so it's June and um, I'm in the process uh, we're in Atlanta and we kind of talked about it in our mukbang video but like we travel a lot um, Lauren's job is um, a traveling job let's say that she's a travel um, hospital professional um, she does like CAT scans and x-rays and all that good stuff hold on bear with me because the best is already strain tracks We travel that's how we've been able to live in like virgin islands for a few months to boston we lived in seattle for about a year um a few places austin i'm from austin that's where we met but she's ended up staying there for a couple years with me period and um here we are so I'm over here trying to find parking bitch because what are we parking at? At this point, I don't even understand. That's one thing about Atlanta, like, where is the parking bitch? Because. There be so many businesses and places and stuff going on in Atlanta, but nowhere to park. Like, where am I supposed to park at? Can I park for these people's house? Like, I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, y'all gonna be with me here while I figure it out. But yeah, so we travel. Um, we decided to take a break and come home to Atlanta. This is where our home is. 
um so we decided to take a break and come to atlanta and just kind of be at home for a little bit because i did move from texas um last july last summer we literally packed my stuff up and got in a u-haul and came on the way um and so like i no longer live in texas um but i go back all the time because my family's in texas and if you know me i'm a huge family person so i gotta go back um I used to, it's so weird because I've been back like maybe three to four times a year so it's like I'm literally part-time um but yeah so we're actually in the process of possibly um going back to Seattle for a little bit which is super exciting because we do love Seattle um and we're talking about doing Seattle for like they're looking at a year so we're looking at places to stay right now and i'm excited i love seattle and a lot of people be like there's no black people in seattle or it always rains it's depressing da, 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 da. and i mean to each his own for real because i love seattle and i found a whole bunch of black people in seattle period and it does have a rainy season in Seattle, um, which is normally like around, I think like October to like February. It's going to rain almost every day. And sometimes it's not even heavy rain most of the time. It's just like, you know, a little rain here and there, plus it's cold. But we're going into summer and springtime, which is even more exciting. Super exciting, actually. Um... And so the cool thing about Seattle, like you get to Island Hop, you can take a ferry and go from one, cause like that whole area, Pacific Northwest area is like a lot of islands together. Um, so you can take a ferry, go to another island. You can take a ferry and go to Canada, um, which we did. And maybe I'll put that out as a vlog on the YouTube channel. So um, we can see some of the cool stuff we did in Seattle, some recommendations of places just in case you go to Seattle. Um, but yeah, like I'm really excited. Baby's really excited. Um, we found a really nice spot. And it's really up. But yeah, I just made it into the coffee shop. So let's see what they about, okay? Because I want some coffee. I've been falling by for I got ashes. And I don't want to tell you to drop me. But I don't want to play your face. Makes me look at you too out there Baby, you can give us something Baby, I can run all the time right. Baby, I'm talking crazy I need you right in my space But I need it, baby, I'm late But I still can check in with you I know that I need my friends But I wouldn't wanna leave You know I wouldn't wanna bleed Even my heart Y'all, I'm back. Got my coffee. 404. Got the Crog Street coffee, which is a hazelnut. Got it in a latte with oat milk. Because I don't your girl don't do dairy. Um this coffee is so good. It's so good. It's so flavorful. Um that place was super cool. I think I also got like a chicken sausage, egg and cheese croissant definitely gonna mess that up at the crib <clears throat> um the lady in there was super nice her name is yo so if you ever go to 404 go see yo she gonna get you right oh that coffee so good and I ain't had coffee in a minute either, so I could be a little biased. Nah, I ain't biased. <laughs> it's good. Y'all, oh my gosh, there's this train in Atlanta that comes here, and it literally, like, I gotta show y'all, it stops, and it stops for hours. It's gonna sit here for it feels like a whole hour and a half. 
and people to stay here. I'm like, but girl, not me. No, ma'am. We're going around, sis. Because I'm not doing it. So before I um, end this video, there's just one more thing I want to talk about. And it's about being your authentic self. Like, I don't think... Some light going in here. Hold on. Make sure I don't like it. I don't think we talk about it enough. Um, you just gotta be authentic self, baby. Like, you're gonna lose friends. Period. Awesome. You're gonna lose people that you think are here that are meant to be a part of your life forever. Friends, relationships, family, cousins, niece, aunties, uncles, whatever. Like, life be life in. And at the end of the day, I really tell people to protect your peace, but be your authentic self. Like, be you. Stop trying to sugarcoat who you are or put this little persona on um, or cover a little bit of who you are because you don't want to offend nobody or because you just don't want to be, you just want to be in the background minding your business or because that one manager don't like your outfits and you just want to be at work doing your job and not even be whatever the cause is and we're going to talk about that because i think i'm gonna make that one of my other youtube channels about being your authentic self but be your authentic self like be who you are love who you are flourish as you are and your tribe will come it it's crazy because you're gonna lose people like, I lost one of my best friends or old best friends of, like, 15, 16 years. And when I lost her because I spoke up for myself and said that I feel like I deserve more as a friend because um, I spoke up and I didn't just, like, sugarcoat anything. And some people can't take accountability and that's okay. But when I lost that friend, oh, honey, my tribe came running. My tribe out of nowhere just start bonding. Like everything made sense. I have these amazing friends that I call family. They're my tribe, my forever tribe. And those people, um, I just value them so much. You know what I mean? And I was able to be my authentic self. And part of being your authentic self, y'all, is speaking up. Not allowing nobody to disrespect you. Not allowing nobody to make you feel less of who you are as a person. Not allowing anyone to treat you like whatever while you treated them on a pedestal you know what I mean like I'm real big on reciprocated energy period and if you can't reciprocate it I don't need to give you that energy and don't feel on top of women you don't get it you know what I mean don't try to flip it so that's one thing I really want to say it was on my heart to tell y'all in this video but be your authentic self be you be happy like life is so short and you don't ever know when your time is over when your partner's time is over when your family's time is over so it's really about just being your authentic self being happy being at peace being one aligned with the universe so if you want to say aligned with god or whatever your um preference is just do that and if being authentically you means cutting out your hair off if being authentically you means, I don't know, wearing bright colors on your hair. If being authentically you means stepping outside the box of what everyone that knows you is accustomed to. If stepping, if being authentically you means leaving everything behind and restarting fresh for yourself then you need to be authentically you because that is the only way that you're going to enjoy life. So, I don't know who needs to hear this. <laughs> but, yeah, just be authentically you. And, I mean, you're going to glow and life's going to be happy. And that's it. And before we get off, make sure you like and subscribe, boo.